Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unboxing some awesome miniatures, the Foggy Peak Goblingtons from Northumbrian Tin Soldier. Here we go, here's our Foggy Peak Goblingtons from the Night Folk range, and these are made by a company called Northumbrian Tin Soldier, awesome company based in the UK who design and make all their own miniatures. These can be used in miniature agnostic games, so you can put them into your D&D campaigns, you can play them in games like Burrows and Badgers, but I got these mainly to play with my own set of game rules that I'll be releasing in September, and you'll find out a lot more about that really soon. You might have seen a previous video I did for the Guardians of the Riverbank, also made by Northumbrian Tin Soldier, and this was one of my favourite unboxings ever. Fantastic miniatures, really well packaged and put together. It was like a real gift. Um, I really enjoyed opening that, and the miniatures are fantastic, so I can't wait to open up these Goblingtons and see what they're going to look like. I bought this set and it costs £40 and in there we're going to get 28 white metal gaming miniatures. So real old school and a great design. And so for £40, 28 miniatures, I don't think you can go wrong. And when it's packaged like this, in this really nice packaging, it's a perfect thing to buy as a gift to yourself or maybe to a friend or loved one or someone you want to introduce to gaming. I think this is a great way to get them excited about it. Okay, let's get these unboxed and then we get all the miniatures out, put them together and then you can see them all assembled and I'll compare them with some other miniatures and some terrain pieces so you can get a good idea of the size and how they look on the tabletop. So here you can see it comes in this really nice black box. We get the gold logo for Northumbrian Tin Soldier embossed on it and it's just plain all the way around covered in this protective film. And so let's get this film taken off and then we can get this open and check out all the good stuff that we're going to get included and I don't expect there's going to be a lot of build in here pretty much put together already and so here we go whoops just knock that camera a bit so we take the lid off and then we'll check out the contents so we get welcomed with this nice black tissue paper and sticker so we just tear that off so it really is presented so nicely and also protected with all this bubble wrap and then in here we're going to get all our miniatures in this protective foam as well. So they do move around a little bit, but they're certainly not going to get damaged in there. There's not far for them to move at all. And then what I'll do now is I'll take them out and then we'll get some close-up shots of them all. You see they're not going to come with bases, so that's one thing to just bear in mind. You're going to have to get the bases for these. But they do come already formed on the like white metal base, so really easy to stick to any like plastic base you want to use so that's no problem but um really great can't wait to see them up close so yeah i'll get them all out and then we'll get some real close-up shots here we go i've lined them up seven at a time so we can get a really good look at them uh, i think they just look awesome so much character real old school vibe and they all come pretty much in one piece so you don't have to build them there'll be a little bit of trimming to do which i'll show you later on in the video but real great bunch of characters you've got archers slingshots clubs you've got this wizard shaman looking figure another archer another kind of slingshot big double-handed axe flag bearer mallet spear single axe another spear got this guy with the money bags and another slingshot as well so real load of different fighters spear and more spear axes swords shields everything you could want and i think these would be great for dungeons and dragons to have like a, a horde of them coming at you even in burrows and badgers possibly um, but i'll be using these for my game where i'll be creating some rules specifically for them and there's loads of detail on the back as well you can see they've got little pouches daggers armor some are wearing furs and different straps the helmets are different some have got hats all like helmets with different horns you can see here we've even got some claws on that fur at the back of the wizard looking character and this one's wearing some feathers in his cap so really nice variety and some great detail for these metal miniatures and then I've just picked out some and spun them around so you can get a good look at the different contrasts of materials and textures on the models and also the different weapon types. So there's lots going on here. I love this guy in the middle with the stuff, this kind of wizard, um, shaman looking figure. I think the pouches are really great. And if you just went for this set, I think he'd make a really good potential leader for the whole group of goblins. 
And speaking of leaders, this is who I've chosen to be a leader for my goblins, the Magica. And this is another model from the Nightfolk range by Northumbrian Tin Soldier. And he's a little bit bigger. I'll just grab one of the goblins so you can see his side by side. So he is going to be a bit larger. He comes with a base as well. And I'll be unboxing him alongside a load of other miniatures. But he's a perfect leader to send these guys off on some mischief. I've also got a load of other miniatures to unbox to go alongside these and the Guardians of the Riverbank. So they're going to have loads of fun features in the game, different heroes, different villains, and each will come with a story and different mission, things like that. So I can't wait to share these with you soon. But back to the goblins. Here, I just want to show you there are some little bits you're going to need to tidy up. Look at the base here, a bit to trim off. It's not quite flat, so you'll have to just glue that and just make sure it fits to the bases. And here you can see just on the end of the spear, there's a little bit to trim. So hardly any trimming at all. This is going to be really super easy. And you've got to expect this from any like white metal, uh, metal miniatures. But this one has come out really clean. There's a tiny bit you'll see in a second just on the finger. But you can see oh, with all these textures, it's come out perfect. I mean, there you go. Just a little bit there. That's not going to take much at all just to trim up. So minimal trimming. And then these are going to be really nice and easy to paint as well. And I think they're just going to be looking awesome all lined up. And I'll be gluing them to these bases. I've got these 25mm bases. They're really thin so that it suits the size of the model. And I think these are just going to be perfect to base these on. And then we'll flock it and then it will look really awesome. Here I've laid out the Battle Systems Fantasy Village terrain set. And these guys look perfect for this, just the right size. They look small enough to come across as goblins and fit really in with the aesthetic of this set. And you can see we've got them standing guard there, all different poses, so it looks really awesome. We've got a little mob running towards us here, right through all that terrain and over the barrels. We've got our guys with the slingshot and the bows at the back. And then here we've got money bags. He's seen something he's interested in across the village, so he's sending the goblins to investigate. And at the back overseeing all the action is the little shaman leader here and he's just taking charge of the whole scene and so they look really great on this terrain i really love it and here i've got the guardians of the riverbank now so you can see them taking on these goblins and here's a little side comparison just so you can see how they fare up we've got the biggest one badger on the left and the smallest mole on the right and he's kind of about the same size as them but with the guardians of the riverbank they're all different sizes so these guys really do go well fighting against this many goblins. I'm really impressed with this set. I think for £40 to get 28 metal miniatures like this. So this quality made by a UK company, by people who are really passionate about what they do. I think it's awesome and I love being able to support them and show off their products here on my YouTube channel. If you're as impressed as I am with these models and you'd like to pick up some for your own collection, then I'll put a link in the description below. And this is going to take you to the Northumbrian Tin Soldier website and you can pick them up there along with loads of other models in their range. I am an affiliate for this company, but I bought all this before I signed up for the affiliate and I've been making this video anyway because I just think it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'll get a small commission. So you'll also be supporting the channel with any purchases you make through that link. So happy days for everyone and a big thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I'll also put a link in the description to that Guardians of the Riverbank set. This was my favourite unboxing ever. A brilliant set. Comes with dice as well. So I highly recommend checking that out. And I'll put a link to the video so you can watch the Fantasy Village Unbox and Build by the Battle Systems. And great set. And that's the one featured in this video. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I really hope you go and check out Northumbrian Tin Soldiers website and give them some support. Because they really are fantastic miniatures. And um, I love everything about the company and what they do. I think it's really great. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there.